skeptics see that this is the day when he became Achaleshwara, that means he became absolutely still, like a mountain he became. The householders, family people believe this is the day he got married, this is his wedding anniversary. Let me tell you something about his wedding. When Sati <laughs> when <laughs> when his wedding was fixed with Sati, who was uh, the daughter of a king, the father completely disowned the girl because she wants to marry this absolutely crazy-looking man with dreadlocks, ash smeared from head to toe, wears elephant skin around his waist, that too freshly skinned, still dripping blood. That's his clothing, that's his dress. So, uh, the father said, no way, you marry this man, it's finished. No, no, absolute no. And somehow she convinces the mother, and the mother seeing the girl is absolutely in love, she yields to this and somehow the wedding is fixed. Then everybody who is somebody, <laughs> all of them arriving, the local small kingdoms, princes, princesses, everybody in their best attire, all coming for the wedding. And Sati is all fully dressed up, everybody is ready. Then Adiyogi Shiva comes for the wedding. Full dreadlock, ash smeared, blood dripping from his elephant skin. And all these, his friends who are all they even have limbs, they have limbs which have no bones, so you know what all they can do. <laughs> even though you got bones, see what all you do. If you had no bones, how many things you would do? They were doing all that. People just saw, oh my God, what is this? And when he arrived, Sati's mother, Meena, saw him, just thought that my girl is going to go with this man, she just fainted. <laughs> then Sati knew this is going to be a disastrous marriage now. So she went to him and said, please take on a more socially accepted form. He said, what, what, what's wrong with me? He's a little... Not drunk from outside, drunk from inside. Then she said, please, my mother has fainted. She will lose her life if she once again sees you like this. Then I said, okay, your mother, all right. And he transformed himself into a resplendent being. In that form, he was called a Sundaramurti. That means the most beautiful man. So, <laughs> then the wedding happened. Then the father also could not believe, wow, this is the man, the same guy? <laughs> this has happened sometimes, hello? <laughs> So, this aspect of what is distortion is all in our minds. If we learn to simply look at things without our own judgments about everything, everything has its place. Hello? A worm, an insect, a bird, a creature, 
everybody has their place, isn't it? Not just us, and that too among us, they must look like us. If everybody just looked like you, could you live in this world? <laughs> Hello? Nobody looks like you, that is the blessing we have. If everybody looked like you, finished your... You don't... No, never ask for this. And also, what is it, the problems that you have with people around you? They are not like you, that's a problem. Yes? You can't get along with somebody. Why? Because they're not like you, not just physically, in every other way. Just I want you to imagine, just one more person just like you in your house, can you live there? One is too much. So we are glad nobody is like us. Hello? We are really glad nobody is like us. If there was one more like us, we will have to exit <laughs> I think there's one more question. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Our last question is from Ashwini in Bengaluru.